Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to make um, stuff that's in your opposites and differences craft pack this week. So I'm just going to pop the screen down as always just so that you can see the space in front of you so that you can see um, everything that we're making. So this week's theme is opposites and differences. So we're going to start with our opposites. So here we've got this dog and you might recognise him. He's um, the Toy Story dog or based on the Toy Story dog. Um, and so this difference is if I can fold him up correctly short to long so I'm going to show you how to make this cool dog and he can be short or he can be long so I'm going to show you how to do that so I'm trying to remember his name and I can't remember his name maybe it'll come to me as I go along the video it's feel like it's on the tip of my tongue but I can't quite remember Slinky, that's it, isn't it? That's what he's called, Slinky. And a Slinky, if you know a Slinky toy, is a toy that starts off really small, and then when you let it go, it pops and springs open. So that's why he's a Slinky dog, because he does the same. He can be short or he can be long. So you've got to make sure, um, before you do anything else, that your dog um, is facing the right way. So on my screen, it will look like this. So you need to make sure that You've got both square ends or straight ends even um, like that because we're going to put this long rectangle in the middle so that's what stretches your dog out. So don't have him facing that way and the bottom that way. You need to make sure that the two straight edges, these two, are facing each other. So the first thing you do is colour in your dog. Um, and you can see that I've coloured him in, in here in different shades of brown and orange. And that's what he looks like. You can colour this dog whatever colour you like. You don't have to use the same colours that I've used. You can be really creative and colour him how you want. Um, so you colour this end of the dog, colour that end of the dog. And then this middle bit, I did colour. But you could decorate him any way you wanted. So you could paint it in spots or stripes or a mixture of colours, however you please. But I, I just did it in one colour. So you decorate that middle part as you please. So once you've decorated the front of your dog and the back of your dog, all you're going to do is fold this piece using what we call a concertina fold. So it's best to use it tall because it's easier to fold it if it's laid out in front of you in a tall way. And so you are literally just going to fold just a little bend in it. You can see that I've made a little bend in it. And then you're going to turn it over so the bend is underneath and you're going to fold it back this way, so back on itself. And then you're going to turn it over again and make another fold and turn it over again and fold it back on itself for another fold. And you can see that what we've got is a is a concertina shape forming that when I push down it all goes back in on itself. So you keep doing that. So turn it over, fold it, turn it over, fold it and do that all the way down till you reach the end of your piece of card. So make sure your folds are nice and it doesn't matter if you've got a smaller bit left over at the end, as long as you've folded it in. And when it's all folded, you give it an extra fold and a scrunch down to make sure you've got all the folds correct. And then when you open it up, it will look like that. And that's why it's called a concertina fold, because it looks like a concertina. So give that just one extra scrunch. So you're going to need some tel sellotape for this. Um, so let me just... Put the center tape on the end of the table so I don't lose the end. So the way I did this was I actually um, laid the two edges next to each other. And those are the bits that you're going to sell tape together. Now this can be a little bit fiddly, but just do the best you can. It might be useful to have an extra person help you with this bit to hold it in. So I cut a bit of tape that was actually longer than the piece I want to tape together because I'm going to put it all the way over so there I am putting my tape on both of the edges and then the bit that's left over I'm going to turn the dog over and put down the other side you can see 
then I've joined it using sell tape down this join here, and then I've turned it over and put the excess tape on that side. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with the bottom end of the door. So I'm going to get some more sell tape. Again, a bit longer. And I'm going to put it over the edges of the door. So the two ends, half the cellar tape on each side, turn it over and then put it on the other side. Now it's a bit long, so all I'm going to do, if I can get that bit back up, is cut that bit off. <clears throat> Like that one side. So you just run your finger over the tape to make sure it's stuck. Your dog is now sellotaped in one piece. So now if you fold him up like so, you can see that he's your short dog into your slinky long dog. And all the way you do that is if you just fold, push the quantity in a fold, it should all fold back in together quite nicely. So there's my slinky dog when he's small and there he is stretched out super long. Now, if you wanted to, you could make a really super long slinky dog just by adding, if you've got any card at home, you could cut an extra piece and you could make him double the length. So you can make him as long as you want to. You can have a bit of fun with him. So there's your slinky dog. So just color in the front end of the dog, the back end of your dog, and then decorate the middle however you like. And then I only did one side of the, this bit in the middle and only one side of the dog. If you wanted to colour both sides, you can, but um, I didn't think it was necessary because you don't get to see much. You can see a little bit of white there, so you might want to colour that bit in. But otherwise, you only really need to colour one side of the dog. So colour this side, colour this side, do something funky in the middle and then sellotape both ends of your dog together. And there's your sneaky dog. So let's put him to one side. And the next opposites we're having are our fish. So our opposite is closed and open and big. This is a big fish and there's a little fish inside. So two sets of opposites on this one. So the way we did this one, be a little bit fiddly this one, so you have to bear with it. You've got a peg and two shapes and you've got two parts of your fish. You've got the top and then you've got the bottom with this little fish sting sticking out of his mouth there. So um, first thing to do is to colour that in. So colour both these things in and you can see that I coloured my big fish in one colour, gave him an eye and then coloured the little fish in a different colour on the inside. Now if you wanted to you could put some big sharp, sharp teeth, I can get my words out then, some sharp teeth onto your fish is up to you. You can decorate that fish how you like. Now sticking onto your peg can be a little bit fiddly so you do have to be a little bit patient and just um, keep at it until it works. So you've got a peg in your pack um, and using some glue what you're going to do is put glue on this end of the peg so the spring and what I would call the lever part of the peg to one side you're going to glue the other side of the spring so open it up a little bit and run some glue on the top and the bottom of the peg. Now don't worry, I've used quite a bit of glue because you do actually need it to stick. And then let go. So the top of your fish, you place just there. So what you want to do is to make sure that you're not sticking it over the spring. So pressing down. This is where your hands get really sticky and it becomes quite difficult. And then the bottom part of your fish you're going to stick so let me just turn that around and show you so I've stuck it so the spring is just there so you don't want to stick your fish onto the spring because that will affect the opening so give them a real firm press down and then when you open it up you'll see that your fish opens and closes and when you've coloured it in that will look quite good now sometimes just rub that glue off my hands. When I was opening my fish, there might be a few times when this little fish came in front of it like that. So I would open it and the fish would be that side. It's not doing it now, which is typical. So if that happens to you, 
all I did was was just bend that bit of the fish just a tiny bit backwards so that when the top fish came down the smaller fish wasn't in front of it because obviously the fish is supposed to be inside the little fish is supposed to be inside the big fish's mouth so you might need to do that you might not and the more you use it the more you open and close your fish and there we go look perfect example so that fish little fish is coming in front of the top of the fish so just bend it back a little bit you know just be careful of doing that before your glue dries because it might let me just see if i can do that without it coming off yeah there we go so i've done it so i bent that fish back a little bit so that it doesn't come in front of the top of the fish's mouth so there's your opened and closed fish i like this fish he's really cool and the peg system works really well with lots of things so um if you have any card and you have any spare pegs at home you could try making other animals with your peg and that open and close action um is really good you can do lots of things i think um, i remember easter doing an egg once um and having an egg each side and a little chick in the middle so there are lots of different things you can do with pegs and that open and closing action so there we go so there's your shark fish so there he is colored in and there's a little fish inside and you can see so it's open and closed and big and small is your opposites there. So those are those two. So we'll pop those to one side. So in your pack, you will have some people shapes. Um, and you'll have two, although there are four here, you will have a mixture of two. So hopefully you'll have a boy and a girl in your pack. And these are for you to color in um, as you like, because differences and we're all different as people is not just about the way we look it's the way we dress it's our different likes and dislikes um what music we like what um different hobbies we have all those kind of things make us different as people and so here you've got four different people shapes to color in and decorate as you want and you can give them the fashion sense that you like different hats and accessories and you can see that on our examples we've colored them in all different colors so you really can decorate these guys how you like you can give them wacky hairstyles you can give them really funky clothes because we all dress differently and we're all different and sometimes it's nice to celebrate those differences and look at those differences and explore those differences and these guys are a really good way to do that because you can um, literally design them how you want. You can give them what hair colour you want, what clothes style you like, shoes, accessories, skin, tones, hair colours, all that kind of stuff. So be as creative as you want to with these guys. Um, you'll notice that in your pack you've got some gems, so I've stuck some funky gems on um, for different outfits. Um, and I've given some funky gems in the hairstyle. So you've got some gems in your pack that you might do that with. And then we stuck lolly sticks on the back of them because you can actually, if you want to, use them as puppets. So you've got two big lolly sticks in your pack. And all I did was use some sellotape to stick um, the lolly stick onto the back of the person. And that means that you can kind of stand them up. Now, we've had some videos um, of some people doing um, some children doing a puppet show with some of their craft packs and it was really cool it's a really funny little puppet show they did really well so you might want to think about doing a puppet show with these because actually if I move the screen up a bit the lolly stick will help them stand up and you can make a little puppet show with your with your funky people that you've created and designed in whatever fashion senses and things that you want to so those are your those are your people to design and uh, do funky stuff with. So let's move them out of the way. So you also in your pack have a mask, an eye mask. And again, when we're celebrating being different and all the differences, you can use this mask to give yourself a disguise if you like, um, and you can turn into whatever superhero or person or funky design color i say that word a lot don't i whatever design that you want to you can put onto this mask and it can turn you into into a different person so you could be a superhero if you like or you could be a princess or you could be a knight or you could be anything you just design the mask how you want it and then you can wear it 
um, it's got a piece of elastic that you can use. So you can put elastic round and um, thread it through the holes and you can wear this mask um, and become whatever character you like. So the way I did it again, this now this mask has got a shiny smooth side and you can see that I'm running my finger over it and a less shiny side. Now when I coloured mine and you can see when I turn this over that I went a bit wrong didn't I? Well not wrong but I coloured on the shiny side and actually found that my felt tips wouldn't take on that side they kept sliding off so I turned it over and I coloured the less shiny side because then my felt tips didn't run um, and make smudges so depending on what you're using to colour or paint this in decide which side you want to use so the really shiny side or the, the less shiny smoother side and then again you've got some feathers in your pack and you have some gems so you can design your um, mask however you like and then the string is just a really simple knot so you just pop the string through one end of your mask in the hole and just tie a simple knot and then so you can see that I've just tied a knot that side and then you do the same that side just pop it through the hole like so turn it over we can't find the end and oh can pick it up oh i'm all fingers and thumbs today there we go let's tie that knot in there okay so that's your mask and again you can use that to create a disguise or um you know be anything you want to be with that mask so there we go, there's your mask, let's put that to one side. And then finally in your pack, you have got some lolly sticks and a piece of colored paper. It won't necessarily be red, but it will be a color. And we've used this to make these little lolly stick superheroes. Now, superheroes, we know they're often in disguise, aren't we? They have a daytime look and then when they become a superhero, they have a completely different look. Um, that's meant to be their disguise. So you can create your own superhero with your own superpower because all superheroes are different and they have different powers. So the way we I have made these is to take your piece of paper and fold it in half and give it a really good sharp crease. And I do that usually running my nails down it. And then open it up. Now, if you're confident to do this and it tears nicely, you can do it this way because this is a really quick way to tear paper. But if you'd like to cut it, then use your scissors to cut it. And I am just going to put a tear in all the way down. I'm going to put one half to one side because we only need one half. And then I'm going to fold it in half again, like so. And then I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to cre create, cut, can't get my words out today a triangle into this half of the paper now I don't need to draw the triangle because I can visualize what that triangle looks like but if you need to draw it then you can if you want to get a ruler and make sure that your triangle is is dead equal that's fine but I'm just going to cut it freehand so I'm going to start at this bottom corner I'm going to cut diagonally up not all the way it isn't well we can do all the way actually that's probably a bit easier all the way up and then I'm going to find a spot and then I'm going to cut all the way back down. And you'll see that that gives me a triangle cloak. And when I put my lolly stick in the middle, there is my superhero cloak. Now, for me, that cloak is a bit long, so I'm going to cut. I'm going to put the two pieces of paper back together and I'm going to cut just a little bit off the edge. Can I fit them back together? Yes, I can. There we go. So I'm just going to shorten my cloaks just by taking a little bit off there. And that works quite well because I can use that for my eye mask afterwards. There we go. So there's my superhero cloak. So I'm going to put some glue on the back of my lolly stick. And I'm going to stick in onto my triangle of paper and get rid of a bit of glue down the side like so. Now you can have your cloak however length, whatever length you want. I just did a short cloak. Um, and then you can see on these one, 
that I just used a little bit of paper to make an eye mask. So the bit of paper that I just cut off, I'm going to use that. So I'm just going to cut just a little slip like that. And I'm going to put some glue on. And I'm going to put it at the top of my lolly stick. Like so. And then get a pen. And I'm going to draw some eyes on. And a mouth. And then I put an S on this one for Superman. But you can put whatever letter you want on for whatever superhero you want. So I will put another S on because I'm calling this guy Superman. But you can make up all sorts of names for whatever superheroes you want with whatever superpowers um, you'd like to give them. And then I put some funny pants on him because Superman always wears funny pants. So I just drew some of those on. And then I gated some bits at the bottom just to give it a bit more detail. And there was my superhero. Now you could, if you want to, have some gems left. You could put some sparkly gems onto your superhero and you can decorate his cloak. And if you wanted to put a giant S on the back of his cloak, then you can. So you can decorate your superhero and make him be whatever kind of superhero you like. I'm um, doing that. So he's quite a cool little superhero character. Really easy to make with just lolly sticks and paper. You will also, I haven't got one here, um, you will have got a, a spot the difference piece of paper in your pack as well. And so you can use that to look at the pictures and spot what's different between them and see how many of those um, that you get right. So that's all of your pack. Let me just do a quick run through of what we've made. So we've got our slinky dog, our long and short dog. And there he is. So you've coloured him in and you stuck the long rectangle of paper once at this end and once at that end and folded it all in to make him a concertina shape. So there's our slinky dog. You have made a open closed or big and small fish. So you've coloured in your fish, coloured in the really little one in between and stuck it to your peg. And remember not to stick it past the spring on the peg otherwise it won't open and close. And there we go, our fish opens and closes. We made some people puppets. So again, we made these people in all different, with their different fashion senses and hairstyles and accessories. So there's our different people. And you can use those as puppets and create a puppet show if you like. So you'll have two of these in your pack, a boy and a girl. So you um, decorate those guys however you like. You will have had an eye mask so that you can give yourself a disguise or turn into a princess or a superhero or a knight or whatever, a dragon or any other kind of animal with an eye mask. You can get, decorate it and give yourself um, a disguise. And then we have our superhero people that we made just by cutting um, a triangle from our piece of paper and then sticking a lolly stick onto it and then putting some decoration on to give him some um, more details. So that's your pack. Really hope you have fun with this pack this week. Um, lots in there about exploring our differences and making things look different, um, using different stars and different colors and different accessories. Um, so we'd love to see some pictures. Um, anybody does any more puppet shows, we'd love to see those videos. We've really enjoyed looking at those. If you'd like to send us just some pictures of the things you've made, we'd be really grateful to, to see those. So we hope you've had fun um, and we'll see you next week. Bye.